Hey, welcome back. I'm here with PJ Sheridan of the Bayer Company. What about the coding technology? Why, why is that, why is Bayer making such an important, making that so important? Right, well, I'm glad you asked. I, um, it's extremely uh, important that patients get accurate blood glucose uh, values so they can better manage their diabetes. Um, and studies show that no coding technology is a difference between accuracy every time and potentially inaccurate readings due to miscoding. So, uh, actually, I use one of these meters up here and you have to set the code. And one time, I, I, I've been testing for a week and I looked and the code was completely different from what it was supposed to be. And I asked the company, well, has my reading been too high or too low? And uh, they couldn't answer. But anyway, what's, what's the deal with that? Right. Why is it such a problem to not have the code on the right space? Well, it's extremely important to properly code. Studies show that uh, if you're using improper glucose values, it can pose a health risk. And that, if you take the wrong amount of insulin, that can be very dangerous. That's right. Another study showed, showed that uh, with improperly coded meters, your probability of misdosing plus or minus two units of insulin can be as high as 50%. I'm super excited to show you our new Contour. Um, it's the latest no-coding technology from Bayer. It's super easy to use for your patients. They simply insert a test strip and it automatically codes itself and it's ready to go. Then when a, 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 a sample of blood is applied to the test strip, it so uses... So you have fake blood, basically? Use, yep, using fake blood here. Okay. It uses uh, SIP-IN technology, SIP-IN uh. sampling, to take your sample and, result, and displays results in five seconds. It hardly took any in. That's right, it takes 0.6 microliters, so a tiny, tiny sample size. Way more, way more than I actually put on my finger there. So. Okay. Uh, but also, what, what are some of the uh, patient-friendly features of this meter? I'm glad you asked. Actually, uh, first and foremost is the no-coding technology, which makes it very easy for them to use. Secondly, as you can see, it has a very large display, so it makes it very easy to read. Um, it has uh, easy to use pre and post meal markers, which are an option if, for those patients who choose to use that. Um, and it has, uh, it's loaded with other automatic features as well. So some of the automatic features are the, the markers for the pre and post meal? Well, um, that's, that's an optional patient use, uh, patient, patient feature where they can actually uh, mark that themselves. But some of the automatic features I'm speaking of are automatic hematocrit adjustment, automatic uh, temperature control, automatic underfill detection, and of course the automatic uh, coding is, is obviously the biggest. So, so behind the scenes, something that's right. patients don't even have to think about. That's right, it has a very, very large uh, memory so your patients can easily re review their results. How large? How large? Actually, 480 tests. 480? Yes, right. Are, are, are people, if you used to go to the doctor's office and they download the readings for the doctor to see, Is that are people using the speeder for that? Absolutely, I'm glad you asked that as well. It's very easily downloaded in your doctor's office. And we have a fantastic uh, uh, software program that allows your doctor to see many, many different views to help you manage your diabetes better. Okay. That's great, I like the size, it's nice and small, yeah. it's very, light. Very slick design. Okay. So anything else you want to tell us about this meter? Before um, we go on to the next one? Um, again, I can show you how to use the pre and post meal markers if you'd like to okay. see that. So, okay. um, can, we can very easily turn on the pre and post meal markers by simply holding down the M button or the power button. And I'm just going to scroll to the... M is for memory or meal or... Well, uh, that's right. Actually, if you want to access your uh, memory, hit M. But it's also how you turn the meter on um, to, to uh, go into your, your um, uh, setup mode. Okay. So, so I'm going to simply go in and turn this on real quick. You're doing great. Thanks. All right. We're going to toggle that to where it says on. So okay. now our, our pre, pre and post meal markers are turned on. Okay. Okay. Now again, simply insert a test strip. The meter is going to turn itself on automatically and be ready for a drop of blood. So again, using our uh, control solution Normally here. Normally, you'd lance your finger and... That's right, but we're using demonstration solution here right. just because I don't want to bleed on you. Right. So, simply sips it in. Again, displays the results in five seconds. And there we have it. And then it brings up these uh, icons on this side. Okay. The uh, une uneaten apple is for a pre meal test. You can see the apple core is for a post meal test. So I'm simply going to toggle okay. up to, to highlight the okay. uh, uneaten apple and hit M to accept it. And it's now stored as a pre meal test. And you may have noticed that it brings up a little alarm clock. That also is an optional reminder to help you remind, remember to test after you've eaten, which is a very neat feature. Can you 
also use it as an alarm clock for like in the morning when it's time to test? Well, actually, no. This is set just simply for, for post -meal. yeah, post meal. Just help you remember to, to test after you've eaten. So okay. Because I don't know about you, but when I'm done eating, I get the food coma set in, and I can't remember right. anything. So. And I know. Uh, We've been writing for years that the, the, the best time to test is, is after you eat, because you want to know how high it's going. For years, people just tested fasting or first thing in the morning. They didn't realize their blood sugar was like doing these big Absolutely, marks. absolutely. It gives you a better view of the entire picture of how your body is uh, processing your, yeah. your, your glucose. Yeah. So. Okay, that's great. Um, and next we have our new Breeze 2 meter. And this is unique uh, from any other uh, meter on the market because uh, it uses an easy to handle 10 test disc that requires no strip handling. Uh -huh. When your patients want to test, they simply pull down on the handle, push back up, the strip's exposed and you're ready to test. Again, using our demonstration solution, I'm gonna do a sample. It has a tiny sample size of one, uh, one microliter and it displays results in five seconds. And this has the strips on the wheel like this here. That's right. Okay. And, and again, it has a very large display. It makes it very easy to use. And when you're, when you're done testing, you simply press this button and gravity makes the strip fall right out. See how I didn't even have to handle you, this strip at all? You don't have to test this. That's right. Test this all I have to do is every 10 tests, simply insert a new, a new disc. Just drop this disc in with the bumpy ridges facing up. Automatic coating technology does the rest for us and we're ready to go. So you don't have to lug the... Uh the vial around. No, it's fantastic. You, you know, it's very, it can be very discreet for those people uh -huh. who are worried about, you know, being overt with their testing. You can simply hold it underneath your desk, uh, desk. again, push-pull operations, and you're ready to go. And then drop it into the, the trash can. That's right. So what patient-friendly features does the Breeze have? Well, first of all, like I mentioned, it has a very large display, which is very nice. Um, as I open up this door, you can see it has single-function buttons, which makes it very easy to navigate to your menu. Can you see that, Sean? See that? Okay. <laughs> and um, it uh, also, again, has uh, the easy to handle 10 test disc uh, with uh, no strip handling, automatic coating. It has um, it has a very large uh, memory with 420 tests. So, um, and it, uh, it also has, uh, excuse me, I'm blanking out here. Is it download too? <laughs> it does download. Okay. Yes, thank you very much. Um, okay. It downloads and uh, again, gives your doctor uh, a real. Uh, Overall, a real good overall view of how you're doing with your sugar. So, does this does it have the other adjustments as the contour, like the hematocrit and the? Um, it, it well, it does not have the automatic hematocrit adjustment. It does have extremely wide hematocrit range. Okay. Um, and uh, and it uh, is actually uh, endorsed as an ease of use combination by the Arthritis Foundation. The breeze, what, the breeze meter was the first one to have, and now the new breeze too also has that for its uh, no no uh, strip handling. Arthritis, so it's for people that have limited. Uh Stiff fingers. It's an excellent meter for people with dexterity issues such as neuropathy, arthritis, um, you know, and uh, Parkinsonian tremor, or whatever, because you don't have to handle those test strips. Imagine, you know, even with any with That's any true. meter, it's hard to even get your strips out of the vial. So it really gives them a freedom of not handling that strip. However, there's, you know, it helps many many demographics. You know, people who uh, who are on the go, they, you know, they don't have to worry about carrying a separate vial of strips. You know, people who work with their hands a lot, uh, um, you know, like construction workers who may have, you know, a little bit uh, harder time handling small objects. You know, and a lot of parents really love their, their, their children with diabetes to take this to school with them because it's so discreet and they don't have to worry about losing a whole vial of strips if, if you know, something might happen. That's a good point. Yeah. Hey, PJ, I wanted to ask you, tell me again about the post-meal alarm. I haven't seen that in any other meter. Great. Well, I'm glad you asked. It's actually a fantastic feature. It helps you remember to test after you've eaten. You have an option to set the alarm. When you set the alarm, it'll go off two and a half hours after you set, therefore reminding you to test and get a better view of how your, your body is absorbing uh, your uh, glucose. I like that. I like that. I like being reminded because testing after meals is so important. That's well, PJ, this is great. Thanks for coming over to our booth. Thanks so much for having me, Scott. I saw these great products. Appreciate it.